Assalamualaikum. Hope all of you are fine. Here is your biology teacher and my name is Farah Anjum. Welcome to Absex Online Support Program. This is week 3, day 4 and our practical number 2 of class 9th. Let's recap our previous practical test for protein. We use bioreferagin which gives purple, violet or lavender color. It means that protein was present. Today we are going to perform practical to test enzyme action by putting diastase in a star solution and performing iodine test for presence of starch. Starch is a storage sugar in plant and it is a polysaccharide and we used diastase and di enzyme to digest it. So diastase enzyme for starch digestion. Diastase is that enzyme will digest the starch, breaking it down into small soluble sugar molecules called glucose. So starch is converted into glucose by using diastase. Diastase acts as a great piece, speeding up the rate of digestion without being used up in the reaction. And if the temperature is above 60 degrees centigrade, the enzyme diastase and the starch will not be digested. So it is also very um, specific for temperature. Okay. Now, after digesting the starch into a very small monomers by using diastase enzyme, we are going to um, perform iodine test. Okay, now what um, iodine test is basically using iodine to test for the presence of starch is a common experiment. A solution of iodine and potassium iodide in water has a light orange brown color. Iodine has a light orange brown color if it is added to a sample. We are taking any sample that contains starch like plant leaves or we take bread, potato, okay. Then what uh, happened? Experiment, we add 2 ml starch. This is our any material, okay. Then we add 2 to 3 drops of iodine solution which is brown orange color. Then what results? We observe that deep blue color appears. So. I am going to show you the deep blue color in the next slide. Here you can see that when I add 2 to 3 drops of iodine solution on potato, it turns deep blue. So it is confirmed that potato contains a starch. Students, when you uh, cut a potato with a knife, a small slice, you can see or you can observe uh, a whitish material on the knife. This whitish material is a starch. It is also present in uh, rice. When you boil the rice, you um, you notice that a fumy whitish uh, appearance occurs. This material is actually a starch. So starch is a storage uh, form and it is present in the plants. Got it? If we perform iodine test, the color black, dark purple or dark blue indicate that starch is present in it. And if after performing iodine test, the color brown, yellow or not changed color mean that there is no starch. Okay? So just blue color indicate that starch is present in that food. Now we are going to interpret and observe the action of enzyme on starch. Uh, we have different food tests. There are some of the most common food tests that is starch, sugar, proteins, fats. Uh, we have discussed two of them that is starch and proteins. So substance tested is starch. Our test is iodine and our result is it turns blue black. And the next one is protein. We use a biuric region, biuric test. Then the result is it turns purple. Okay. In next a practical class, we are going to perform Benedict test, okay? Dear students, let's recap our practical starch test in which iodine turns from brown to black if starch is present in it. And protein test, by turns from blue to violet. Right now,